Well, hello, 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 welcome to Omer's Garage. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a air suspension error on my 2016 Porsche Macan Turbo. following my channel, you know that I got this 2016 Porsche Macan Turbo uh, over a year ago. And um, it's been pretty good so far, no big issues with it. But recently I got an air suspension error on my dashboard and I've been trying to problem solve it and I think I got it figured out. So today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and I'll show you the errors and how to resolve that. All right, when you start the car up, uh, everything you know comes up as normal. You know, I just started driving it, and usually within a couple seconds, you'll get uh, the air come up. So that's the air that you're getting, suspension system fault, adaptive driving permitted. So the car still handles, you know, normally. You don't really feel much of a difference, but um, you are getting that error message. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to resolve today. So I didn't get a chance to catch this on video, but um, I still have my iCarSoft. Um, it's a poor two, it's a diagnostic tool, it's OBD2 scanner. I've had this since I had my uh, Porsche 911, so if you've been following my channel, uh, you know a little bit about that. Uh, so I'll put a link to the video using this, but you put, pretty much plugged it up. I did get a code 000284, and it said the control height was either too low or too high, so it's relating to the air suspension system, and uh, that's the code that I pull, and from that, code i started doing research online and that's where i found out um that there's a fuse uh for the compressor and that was the fuse that we're actually changing now or have already changed on our on our system so um just a little background if you don't have this there's a link in my store as well um uh, for this there's different versions of it but it's specific to porsche so you'll be able to reset the um, check engine lights you'll be able to reset the oil light indicator as well which i'm going to be changing the oil on this most likely tomorrow so i'll be able to use this in order to change it now this i purchased back uh, for my 2010 porsche 911 and i was able to update it pretty easily off of their website you just download an app you plug in the sd card into um, the reader on the computer and just run it and it'll automatically pretty much update that little card that's you know a little micro sd card that you just plug back into this so it's pretty easy to update i've been pretty happy with it and now the porsche macan was not on there because that was not available in 2010 but with the update uh, it is on there now and i can actually run diagnostic on my porsche macan turbo all right so there can be several issues um with the car um i've done a lot of research right now online um, regarding the porsche macan specifically um, some people say sometimes when the battery's going low, it can cause electrical you know, gremlins. And that happens to a lot of different cars. Uh, so for this car, there's been folks that have gotten that um, some of these errors uh, because of a battery. Now, this is a 2016, so that means the battery is five years old, almost six years old. So that could be a problem. Um, another thing is you can have an air leak in your system. And one way to look at that is to go ahead and just leave the car overnight, measure from the floor to the fender uh, well, or, or measure the gap uh, between the tire and the fender on all four sides and kind of see if it's gone down um, during the night. And that could mean that you have a leak somewhere in your system. Could be one of the air shocks, it could be, you know, one of the hoses, the compressors. Um, and the third option is the compressor's gone bad. So that, you know, usually you'll stop hearing the compressor run. I had that issue um, with my Cadillac Escalade where the compressor was just not uh, running right. And then the fourth thing, which is what I'm suspecting is on this car, is the fuse that runs your, you know, suspension system has gone out. So I've looked it up. We're going to go and crack open the, the box to find the fuse that um, relates to this and hopefully that'll be the issue because um, everything else, the suspension I've already checked, it hasn't gone down overnight and everything else is running pretty well. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so we're in the, you know, trunk of the Porsche Macan. Um, there's some buttons here to raise and lower. Um, what we're gonna do is a little, you know, gap here. You can pull that and just be careful with the cable, you know, that you're not chugging it, but this whole thing, 
can slide uh, right out and we'll just put this to the side. And this is where our amps are. Now, this amp here is the amp for our system. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna pull that. And um, it's, for some reason, these you can't see through. Usually you can see through them. So it's hard to see in there if this fuse is broken or not. So we're gonna go ahead and test it and, uh, and see if that's the culprit. All right, so we have a fuse here. Now, um, like I said, you can't see, you know, normally you can see when a fuse is, is broken. Um, so we're gonna do, there's different testing kits that you can buy for fuses. Um, what I'm gonna do is use my voltmeter here. Um, and there's a setting that has an audible sound, um, which checks for continuity, which just means that electricity is flowing through. Um, so what you're gonna do here, you know, I have these probes, you can actually touch either side. If it doesn't beep, then the power is not coming through. Because if, if it were, it would make a beep. Now, if you put them on the same thing, it's gonna beep. So obviously, when I'm pressing them on either side, the power is not going through. The current's not running through, which means that this is a bad fuse. So this could be our, our culprit. And in advance, um, I ended up picking up from the auto parts store. I put a link in the description um, for these parts um, on my website and uh, here in the description to the video. So this one you can actually see, you know, you can kind of see that it's not broken. So we'll try it now with this. See, the power is going through like it should, that's the way it's supposed to be. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna replace that fuse with a new fuse and hopefully that'll take care of our issue. All right, so we'll go ahead and just put this fuse uh, back into here. And we'll put this cover back on. We should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start test drive. Well, as soon as I started, well, I just got in the car and I can see the compressor is running and it looks like the car is leveling itself. So it looks like that was probably what's going on. We're gonna go ahead and start it and start driving. All right, like I said, the car, as soon as I um, got in the car, hadn't even put the key in the ignition, it started, um, the compressor started running and it started leveling itself. So. It definitely wasn't doing that before. So that's definitely a good sign. And we are pretty close to where we got the uh, suspension error uh, previously. And I'm not getting a suspension error. All right, so, so far so good. I think we've resolved the issue. Um, now that's not to say that there's something else going on considering that fuse broke. Um, Sometimes it's random, sometimes there's something else going on, but um, we'll keep an eye on it and, and see where it goes. All right, so I've been driving it around. Um, so far, so good. have no errors coming up, and the car's driving normal, so I'm just happy that uh, that got to resolve this. So hopefully, it's just something simple as a fuse to resolve this issue, but hopefully this helped you out. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and leave a like. It helps the channel out a lot. doesn't cost you anything. But, um, you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, there's a couple more videos. I need to do an oil change on this car, which I will probably be doing tomorrow. So there's several things that are coming up and I'm going to be doing some stuff with the McLaren as well. So, you know, stay tuned, uh, subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you at the next one. Y'all take care and stay safe.